It's June. Yay. And that means another month is starting filled with horror comics. Here's what's new on the racks in the genre of horror this week, June 1st, 2022. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out This Week in Comic Book Horror, June 1st, 2022. Horror Comics number 10 is from Antarctic Press. The story is by Gianluca Pireda, with art by Luca Lamberti. So last week, issue number 14 of Horror Comics was supposed to have been released. So of course, one week later, issue number 10 comes out. Whatever issue is released, and whatever order it is released in, I'm always down for horror anthologies. I'm hoping to pick up a trade of these books, as the covers are nice and creepy. This one is about Dracula leaving Transylvania and retiring to the Old West. Sounds fun. Issue number 11 also seems to be scheduled to come out today as well, which contains part 2 of Dracula's Old West adventure. Loaded Bible, Blood of My Blood, number 4, is from Image Comics. The story is by Tim Seeley and Steve Orlando, with art by Giuseppe Caffaro. Dracula is battling everyone this month. In Loaded Bible, he takes on Jesus in a bloody and gruesome final battle. Creator Tim Seeley has teamed with Steve Orlando to bring back one of the ballsiest and most blasphemous comics ever. Vampirella and Dracula, Unholy, number 6, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christopher Priest, with art by Donnie Hadiwijaja. Had, Hadiwijaja. In this final issue, Vampirella and Dracula face off one last time, and the fate of her new husband hangs in the balance. And looky over there at that cover. Not only do we get the usual helping of ass and titties, ass and titties, but it appears Dynamite is leveling the playing field and providing some pecs and packages as well. Good on them. We Have Demons, number three, is from Dark Horse Comics. The story is by Scott Snyder, with art by Greg Capullo. In this epic battle between angels and demons, only one demon killer and her bodyguard, a demon himself, is caught in the middle and may be the key to ending the conflict. This is the end of the first arc of We Have Demons, all presented by the popular duo of Snyder and Capullo. The Walking Dead Deluxe, number 40, is from Skybound Entertainment. The story is by Robert Kirkman, with art by Charlie Adlard. More horrifying developments occur at the jail while Andrea and Dale have a conflict of interest. I remember there was a lot of hubbub about the jail saga going on a bit too long back in the day. But looking back, it contains some of the most effective drama this series ever had to offer. All represented in bloody color in this deluxe format. Albatross Exploding Funny Books number one is from Albatross Funny Books. The story is by Eric Powell and Lucky Yates, with art by Eric Powell. Powell always delivers the macabre with a massive dose of absurd. In this extra-sized first special issue, you get stories about the goon, hillbilly, La Diabla, Lester of the Lesser Gods, and Lula the Bearded Girl. I'm all in for this one. Little Monsters number 4 is from Image Comics. The story is by Jeff Lemire, with art by Dustin Nguyen. After finding a human girl, our vampire little rascals try to fight their urges to drain her dry and get her back to her family. But in doing so, these vampires stuck in children's bodies are alerted to where the humans have been hiding, and the urge for blood is growing within them. I'm really digging this beautifully drawn and wonderfully written series. Aliens number 12 is from Marvel Comics. The story is by Philip Kennedy Johnson, with art by Salvador La Roca. This is the final chapter of the Paradise arc, focusing on a farm colony on a distant planet that becomes riddled with xenomorphs. Philip Kennedy Johnson and Salvador La Roca continue to deliver the big-budget sci-fi horror goods monthly. The Closet number 1 is from Image Comics. 
The story is by James Tiny and the Fourth, with art by Gavin Fullerton. A new horror series from James Tiny and the Fourth. Say no more. I'm in. Reminiscent of Cat's Eye, a family moves into a new home only to find the monster in their son's closet has followed them there. Can't wait to see what new terrors Tinian has in store for us. Ghost Rider number three is from Marvel Comics. The story is by Ben Percy, with art by Corey Smith. While Johnny Blaze continues to investigate his memory loss, the FBI and a monstrous trucker from hell do their damnedest to keep the rider off the road. Percy has been delivering some vengeance-fueled horror with this series, starring Marvel's top horror character. Ghost Rider deserved a great series, and this one seems to be it. The House on the Lake, number 9, is from DC Comics. The story is by James Tiny IV, with art by Alvaro Martinez Bueno. I'm still catching up on this series and have found it best read in chunks, especially since the series had been on break for the last few months. The mystery of the only house to have survived the end of the world thickens. Can't wait to catch up with this series, as every issue never fails to please. Any of these new comics interest you? I'll definitely be checking out The Coffin, The Nice House on the Lake, Ghost Rider, Alien, Albatross Exploding Funny Books, and Little Monsters. How's about you? Let me know which ones you're looking forward to reading down in the comments. You're doomed to live the life you're meant to be Stuck inside your reality You're